Welcome to our lecture online. The third of the three big rules with exponents is where we have a number raised to exponent, which is then by itself raised to another exponent. So if a number and its exponent is raised to another exponent, then you multiply the exponents. The result is you will then multiply the two exponents. So x to the n, the whole thing raised to the n power, is equal to x to the n times m. And here, again, we need to point out where a common mistake is done. We have to be careful. Sometimes people will think that we have to add the exponents, but that's not the case. Here we have to multiply. So x to the n, all of it raised to the n power, is equal to, the, is equal to x to the n times m, not plus m. So be very careful not to make that mistake. So some examples. This is once you realize what the rule is, they're very simplistic. Here we have x to the third power, the whole thing raised to the second power. That's x to the 3 times 2, or x to the sixth power. The reason why you can see why that is so, for example, take this. We have x to the third power and the whole thing raised to the second power. What this really is, this is equal to x to the third power times x to the third power. There are two factors of that which is in, t in sync with the fact that this is raised to the second power. That is by all, by all means, the definition of exponents. And so here we can add the exponent. This is x to the 3 plus 3, which is equal to x to the 6. So you can see you get the very same result by simply multiplying the two exponents together or to write it like this. Or, for example, if we have x to the uh, second power and the whole thing is raised to the third power, this is equal to x to the second power times x to the second power times x to the second power. Again, three factors. And then we can say that this is equal to x to the 2 plus 2 plus 2, or x to the sixth power. Again, you get the same result. You can see, you can look at these things in various ways, solve them in different ways, and always you'll get the same result if you adhere to the correct rules. So here we have an example, 2 raised to the 4th power, and the whole thing raised to the 3rd power, that's simply 2 to the 4 times 3, or 2 to the 12th power, which, by the way, is 4096. And what if you have a negative exponent? For example, x to the 4th power raised to the minus 3 power. The rule is still the same. We multiply exponents, so you get x to the minus 12, which can then be written as x over 1 over x to the 12th power. Again, we'll take a look at that rule closer later on. And if the negative exponent is inside here, x to the minus 2, all of it raised to the third power, this is equal to x to the minus 2 times 3, or x to the minus 6, or 1 over x to the sixth. Again, this particular example can be looked at in a different way. For example, you can say that x to the minus 2 raised to the third power can be written as 1 over x to the second power raised to the third power. And then the rule is still the same, you will go ahead and multiply exponents. This is equal to 1 over x to the 2 times 3 power, or 1 over x to the 6 power. Again, you'll get the exact same result, looking at it in a slightly different way. But again, following the same rules, anytime you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you will multiply exponents together. It doesn't matter if the exponent is in the numerator or if the exponent is in the denominator. It still applies in exactly the same way. And that is how it's done.